Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. Welcome to my jungle home, where today I'm kind of abandoning my favorite color in lieu of something more... wicked. Actually, today we're going to take a look at the new iPhones. And I know what some of you might be thinking, aren't the iPhones about six months old by now? You're right. But just the other day, Apple unveiled a new color for the iPhone 13 series. The iPhone 13 and 13 mini come in green, while the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max come in alpine green. And I have both of them here with me, field in boxes. These colors look pretty amazing and I'm interested to see what they look like because it isn't the first time we've seen a green iPhone. Last year there was a mint green iPhone 12. And who can forget the midnight green iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. Every season Apple releases new colors for cases, watch bands, and the like. And for spring 2022 they have a new green silicon case. This one is eucalyptus and we're going to take a look at it today as well. All right, enough of that. It's time to get on with our unboxing. As is customary, the 13 comes in a white box and the 13 Pro Max comes in a black box. And you can see the color of the phones on the front of the box. Let's start with this one. Here we go. Notice there is no plastic wrap. It's something that Apple started with the iPhone 13 series. Instead, if you flip the box around, you'll find that it just has a seal up here and down here. And all you have to do is look for that green arrow and pull. We'll do it down here as well. There you go. And now we're actually ready to open up the box. Let's lift on the lid. Ooh, so much more beautiful in person. It's almost like a dark green color. If this were a crayon, I'd probably call it pine green. All right, let's set it aside. Also in the box, a lightning cable. And I always say this, but wouldn't it be nice if it came with, nope, <laughs> green stickers. Unfortunately, it's just white. You also have a SIM tray ejector tool and some paperwork. Now, perhaps you've been sleeping under a rock and are wondering where is the power adapter? Unfortunately, Apple no longer includes them in the box when you buy a new iPhone. But if you're in the market for one, don't worry, I'll put a link to all my favorites down below. Next up, it's time for the 13 Pro Max in Alpine Green. Again, just look for the green arrow and tug. That breaks the seal. Now we can lift up. Ooh, very similar to Midnight Green, although I think this guy is a little bit greener. Because it has a matte finish, depending on the light, it's probably going to sometimes look gray, but you can definitely see the green shine through when you take a look at that glossy camera bump. If you take a look at them side by side, even if the 13 has a glossy back and the 13 Pro series has a matte black, the camera modules and the frame around the phones are the opposite. So it's glossy on the 13 Pro Max and matte on the iPhone 13 and 13 mini. Here it is side by side with my Midnight Green 11 Pro Max. Notice that they're very similar but the Alpine Green 13 Pro Max is definitely greener. Of course, just like on the iPhone 13, the box comes with a USB-C to lightning cable and some paperwork. And for those ASMR fans out there, we'll crank up the volume as we peel off this protective cover. Once more with feelings. Don't go away, we still have some cases to unbox. And the last time I did an unboxing video, a lot of you were screaming at me at the comments asking for more of the phone. So don't worry, we have a montage with some beauty shots yet to come. But first, a word from this video's sponsor. We've been testing many robot vacuums recently, including this one, the Yidi Vac Station but it isn't your regular robot vacuum. It's a three-in-one multitasker. It vacuums and mops at the same time and then empties its bin automatically after. Setting up is easy. Powered by Visual Slam technology or simultaneous localization and mapping, 
the Yeedy Vac Station maps out your space like GPS for your whole floor coverage. When it's finished, you can label the rooms for area cleaning or create virtual boundaries. Robot vacuums like the Yeedy Vac Station are a great addition to any home, freeing up your time to do more important things. Its strong suction power promises to leave your entire floor, including the corners, clean in just one single pass. And while it sucks up all the dust and dirt, it can mop your floor too. Just fill up your water tank at the back and attach the mopping pad. When it's done cleaning, it returns to the base and empties the bin, transferring everything it's collected into this dirt bag. On the app, you can create cleaning schedules, so even when you're busy and forget to clean, the Yeedy Vac Station will keep your floor neat and tidy. The Yeedy Vac Station retails for $4.99, but if you use the code VACSTATION and the link below, you can save up to $150. If you don't need the self-empty base, you can also get the Yeedy Vac Max for $349. Or if you just want the robot vacuum, there's the Yeedy Vac for $299. Okay, as promised, it's time to take a look at these new cases in a new color called Eucalyptus. Now, I'm really curious to take a look because a few months ago, Apple released a silicone case in green. This one is called Clover. So we really need to compare these two cases once I get this one out of the box. All right, these are both the same case, so we just need to unbox one. Let's unbox this guy. This case definitely matches my sweater. And immediately you can tell that this guy is more muted, closer to gray, I would say, compared to the Clover case. Personally, I kind of like Clover better and it's still available on apple.com if you're interested. And I think these muted colors are intentional because it definitely contrasts well against this darker phone. I think this muted case color matches the Alpine Green iPhone 13 Pro Max better. I personally love the new Sierra Blue finish on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. However, I do use a case, so it is covered up. Thankfully, Nomad has this case. I don't know if you actually can see it. It looks green because of all the greenery going on, but it's a color called Marine Blue. And if you'd like to learn more about Nomad accessories for the iPhone, you should definitely check out episode one of Show and Tell. I'll put a card up here so that you can go and watch it. The irony of it all is that this is a video talking about a new color, but if you pop on a new case, you cover all that goodness up. I've probably said too much already. You probably came to see the new green iPhone 13s. So it's time for some gorgeous B-roll. And that was a quick hands-on with the new green iPhone 13 and 13 Pro Max. We have a lot of Apple content coming your way real soon. Apple just unveiled the iPhone SE 2022, the new iPad Air, and two new devices, the Mac Studio and Studio Display. And you can be guaranteed that videos are coming your way, are already being worked on right now. So if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you do that right now and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Upload. Follow me on social media. I'm posting a lot of behind the scenes stuff on there. And for news and updates, make EditMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.